Everyone here is wearing identical jewelry. I know, but not like theirs. I know it's not the same as all seen telepathic cars we've seen in the past. Maybe they've adapted them. Good point. Besides, they're unlike any other humans I've met. I'm gonna check them out. What can I do? Ah, uh, Mel, there you are. Uh, husband's get a break now. Uh, you get to meet up with your better half at the reception later. It's ladies only time, okay? Great. Come, come, come. Bye, honey. You know, it, it, it's like he's a seething mass of testosterone, and sometimes he just overwhelms me. I, I know that if we have a problem um, in the bedroom, that it's mine. It's your fault? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Mr. Hauser? Thank you, Eric. Thank you. That's terrific. Okay, who's next? Mel. Mel. Time to tell us everything, huh? Actually, I'm finding it really helpful just to listen. But thank you. No, no, no. We want to hear everything. Time to kiss and tell. How about some encouragement here? Huh? That's a spirit. Sit. Okay, but that still doesn't explain what you were doing in my room. Uh, I wanted to talk to you about something personal. It's okay. Oh, something that called for complete privacy, Mr. Hauser? I didn't know how to say in front of the other people. <laughs> well, it's, it's all right, Mr. Hauser. You can talk to me. I don't know what to say. Whisper it to me. I'm a professional. I promise not to tell a soul. Come on. He's just so obsessed with his work, you know? I mean, sometimes it's like I'm not even in the room, and then there's the other times I look at him and I think, you don't need me. But is he a good lover, Mel? Who knows? I mean, yes. <sighs> Who am I kidding? This is not going to work. I mean, there's just too much distance between us, too many cultural differences. Why did you marry him then? He had this immigration problem. Watched. Oh, please. Oh, that's my Chuck over there. Isn't he great? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't tell you how great it feels to be in love with someone so just sweet and dedicated to our relationship. 
So where is your ball and chain anyway? Oh, he had a headache. No, 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 Mr. Hauser, come in, join the party. Look at this place. This is the perfect evening for you to start expressing yourself, like we talked about. Oh, hello, looking great. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Hauser, I see rain. We've got to talk to him about tomorrow's seminar. Have fun. Gorgeous. Tracker's here, Baker. Are you sure it's him? He definitely fits the description of Zen gives. Is he alone? No. He's with his human companion, Mel. Forget about her. She's disposable. He's the one we have to watch. Hello, sweetheart. I was looking for you everywhere. Well, if it isn't my favorite wallflower, glad you could make it. How's the headache? It aches. Uh, could I steal her away for a moment? So, is it Janet and Rain? No. The Felix sisters definitely are in this room. Unfortunately, they know that I'm tracking them. You should leave. I can collect them some other time on my own terms. Well, you might not get another chance later. And even if you do, what about all the problems they could cause between then and now? This hotel is built over lodestone, which means there's too much geomagnetic activity for me to sense the Baelic sister's presence. If I can't sense who they are, I can't protect you. If I'm the reason you want to pull out, Cole, forget about it. A few months ago, we became a team, remember? I remember. And you needed my help, and I gave it to you. And I didn't always understand why or how, but I gave it to you. And now that things get hairy, you want to call the whole thing off. It's not going to happen. That's not what teamwork is about. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, ma'am. Go back in there, the happy couple. There you are, Mr. Hauser. I've been looking all over the place for you. I thought we might continue the little chat we were having. Oh, uh, well. Let's dance. Well, we were just going to have a drink at the bar. Right after our dance. I promise I'll get it back in time for bed. Gin and tonic, please. Yes, ma'am. Double. Everything all right? Everything's fine. No problem. OK, I'm not buying that. What? You have a fight with Mr. Wonderful. Just. Something with his job came up. You know, what is it with men and their work? Why can't they just keep it at the office? You know, Mr. Hauser, marriage is a job. Of course, it's the only job in the world where you can still get a little nooky at the home office without worrying about anybody suing you. <laughs> you think Mel's unhappy because she's not getting any of this nooky? You tell me. Can't say I've ever really given her any. Although I may have accidentally given her some without really knowing. Hey, Mr. Hauser, you know, you might be the strangest man I've ever met. You know, I really wish I knew why men were so dense. <laughs> Must be some kind of biological imperative to it. I don't know, it's just like everywhere I've been, they're all the same. Hmm, except for my chuck. <laughs> Sometimes Cole and I are so far apart like yours. <laughs> I know what that's like. Don't let it get you down. 
After a couple years, you're so in sync, you're finishing off each other's sentences. How long have you and Chuck been together? Ah, feels like forever. <laughs> Spontaneity is the key. Can you believe the nerve of that guy? His wife is here and he's flirting with you. Actually, 